Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing Matt Dillon's top 10 best movies. He's another underrated actor that I enjoy. He's a low-key person in real life, and it appears that he didn't let Hollywood get the best of him. Which I respect, especially since he started acting at a very young age. There's a few films I'd like to mention before we get started that just missed the list. Those films are Crash, To Die For, and You, Me, and Dupree. All solid films that I enjoy. Now time for the list. So sit back, relax, let the show begin. Number 10 is The Flamingo Kid. Released in 1984 and directed by Gary Marshall, this is a fun film that not many people talk about nowadays. Matt Dillon is awesome in it. He takes a summer job at a high-end beach resort set in 1963. It also stars, oddly enough, Janet Jones, who would go on to marry hockey legend Wayne Gretzky. The Flamingo Kid is a solid hidden gem with a solid cast and a great soundtrack. I also love the 60s setting. Definitely check this one out if you can find it. Number 9 is The Saint of Fort Washington. Released in 1993 and directed by Tim Hunter, this is another great hidden gem. I never heard anyone ever mention this film, but it's really good. I remember renting it on VHS probably 25 years ago, and it always stuck with me for some reason. Matt Dillon plays a schizo. <laughs> he becomes homeless. Danny Glover is fantastic as well. He, uh, he's also homeless, and he kind of takes Dillon under his wing, especially at the homeless shelter where Ving Rhames and his crew prey on the homeless. It's a dangerous environment. It's a great film. It might be a bit depressing at times, but it's very well done. Number eight is Tex. Released in 1983 and again directed by Tim Hunter. Yet another underrated hidden gem. Matt Dillon is king of the hidden gems. Tex is great. It's got a fantastic cast with Emilio Estevez and Meg Tilly starring alongside Matt Dillon. I love the small town Oklahoma setting. Great story about two brothers figuring out their place in the world after their mother dies and their father abandons them. Definitely check this one out, but it may be hard to find. Number seven is The House That Jack Built. Released in 2018 and directed by Lars Van Trier. This film is quite shocking. The first hour is disturbingly entertaining. Dylan uh, plays a serial killer with OCD. And his actions make it comical. But then, for me, Incident 3 happened. And uh, yeah... It's a bit too much, a bit too real. Probably would have been uh, ranked a bit higher, but that scene was a bit too much. Still, this film is very unique and well-written, and Matt Dillon's performance is too good to ignore. It's a very dark film, and it's not for everyone. Uh, number six is Rumblefish. Released in 1983 and directed by Francis Ford Coppola, and written by S.E. Hinton, Yet another underrated film that performed poorly at the box office. Rumble Fish, it's all about the visuals and soundtrack. It almost feels like a play at times, the way it's filmed. It's a unique film. It's got an amazing cast of Matt Dillon, Mickey Rourke, Dennis Hopper, Diane Lane, Nicolas Cage, and the list goes on and on. It's got a great story with uh, interesting characters and relationships. Rumble Fish isn't for everyone, but it's an experience not to be missed. Number five is My Bodyguard, released in 1980 and directed by Tony Bill. This was Matt Dillon's second film. When you mention this film to people, they immediately think you're referring to Kevin Costner or Whitney Houston in The Bodyguard. <laughs> My Bodyguard is a great little hidden gem. I grew up watching this one a lot. Matt Dillon plays the school bully and he bothers this new kid, Cliff. So uh, the kid ends up asking the biggest kid in school to be his bodyguard for a few bucks here and there. Things start to escalate when Matt Dillon hires his own overage bodyguard to settle the score. <laughs> it's good times. I love this film. Number four is Drugstore Cowboy. Released in 1989 and directed by Gus Van Sant. It's another underrated gem that underperformed at the box office but was praised by critics. It's an excellent film, with a fantastic cast, given excellent performances all around. It's a pretty chaotic movie about a group of friends robbing pharmaceuticals to suffice their drug addictions. Matt Dillon is top-notch. 
One of the best at what he does. Check this one out, guys. Number three is Wild Things. Released in 1998 and directed by John McNaughton. Finally, a decent hit for Matt Dillon at the box office. I remember seeing this one in theaters when I was 12. Woo! What an experience. I love this film. It's so much fun. I love the bizarre story and all the twists and turns. The cast is great. I love Matt Dillon and Kevin Bacon especially. Their interactions are, are pretty hilarious. I love the filming locations and the music score is top notch as well. This film is just so much fun. I don't. I, I just never get bored of it. Number two! Is there something about Mary? The day don't know Mary Yeah, I'm motherfucking talking about Mary. Released in 1998 and directed by the Farrelly Brothers. 98 was a huge year for Dylan. This was a massive hit at the box office, making $370 million. I love this film. It's one of the funniest movies made in the past, I don't know, 25 years. It's probably one of my favorite comedies. I don't know. Top 10, top 20. It makes me laugh nonstop. I just, I just love the quirkiness. There's just too many hilarious moments to mention. Like I said, just one of my favorites. It's a classic. Her one is The Outsiders. Released in 1983 and again directed by Francis Ford Coppola. This film was released the same year as Rumblefish and had a lot of the same cast and crew. And again, based on an S.E. Hinton novel. This film is an absolute classic. What a phenomenal cast all around. Diane Lane would appear with Matt Dillon in The Outsiders, Rumblefish, and a film called The Big Town. It's another one of his films I enjoy. The Outsiders is a brilliant film. Stay gold, pony boy! Anyways, guys, that's the list. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. You're gonna get it, bitch! Damn enchiladas!